Hello and welcome to Buckeye Sports Now, your home for everything Ohio State sports. I'm Evan Simkowitz. The annual ACC Big Ten Challenge wrapped up last night with both men's and women's basketball participating in the three-day hoops contest. The women's team fell to number three Notre Dame in South Bend last night, and the men's team lost to Virginia Tuesday night to extend their losing streak to four for only the second time in 15 years. On a team with four new starters, one of their few veterans actually felt confident after the loss. I definitely think we've gotten better every week. I mean, you guys hear me say it every week, we've gotten better since the last. Um, it just seems like all our games come down to the wire, you know. Um, we just got to figure out a way to, to bring it home. I mean, we're, we're so close and, you know, that just comes with being tougher um, and taking care of the ball. So. Behind Tate, who had 12 points in the loss, the Buckeyes will look to snap their skid on Tuesday against VMI. The women's team will travel down I-71 to play Cincinnati on Sunday. Despite dropping three of their last five matches to end the regular season, the women's volleyball team is currently ranked number 12 in the nation and plays host to first and second round action in the playoff tournament starting tomorrow. OSU will face unranked Robert Morris, whom the winner of which will see the winner of the Kentucky American University matchup on Saturday. This is OSU's fifth playoff berth in the last six seasons and is head coach Jeff Carlson's 11th appearance in 13 seasons. That's all for this week's Buckeye Sports Now. For complete coverage of basketball and volleyball and the rest of Ohio State sports, be sure to watch us throughout the week and go to thelantern.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, thanks for watching.